afternoon again. I'm still in the book of John, chapter 11, verse 25. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, shall live. If we're not honest within our heart to be with God Jesus more in our lifetime on this planet Earth, right now, in the beginning of our time with him as God and God alone in our heart, mind, and thinking, then we are not in confrontation with anything else on this place right now where we dwell, let alone when we pass away and go home to be with someone perhaps on the other side, God, Jesus, or maybe be left here on this earth forever. But whatever the means or meaning of all of this conversation going on in my heart right now, it simply means this. I'm with God, Jesus, as much as I can be, but I cannot be with him every single second in my thought process. But I am with him a whole bunch of times during the day and all night as much as I can be. When I wake up, I say, thank you, God, Jesus, for being with me. I praise you. I love you. I worship you. You are God, deity alone, my God, my Savior, and my Redeemer alone. Now, I don't say that every single time I wake up during the night, which is a lot, because God wakes me up. He likes to hear me say his name over and over again. So I do. Thank you, God, Jesus, for this day. And thank you for all the accusations in my heart and in my mind and in my thinking that no matter what, that I can do better for me alone. With you, God, Jesus, in my life, in my heart, and in my mind, I want to be singing the grace of song. And the song of my heart, I pray, will be simply for you alone. And I pray and ask all of these things in Jesus Christ, God's name alone. Now that prayer interpretation right there for me and for you is simply this. I want you all to find Jesus Christ God in your life, in your heart, in your mind, and thinking wisely about who he is as living God Jesus alone. He is God deity alone in the presence of himself with God, the holiness of who they all are, and God Jehovah. They all are one God alone. And the holiness of who they all are is the Holy Spirit, who is with us all now on this planet. In God's regards to himself being God, deity alone, Jesus, he can say this to me and you all of the time. He is God, Jesus alone. He is God alone. He is God with God, Jehovah, God, the holiness of who they all are, and God, and God Jehovah, which I said, God, the Holy Spirit. They are one God alone yet three separate in the presence as one God alone still. I'm trying to read my heart the best I can. When God gives me the words quick and quickly, sometimes they run into each other, but at the same time, all of the words that I prepare myself during this day and all night and all the praises and wonders and wondering about who God Jesus is in my life to help me to get better daily so I can be here with you better and in life, one-on-one -on -one with people around me and whom I meet along the way in my life here on this earth, I try to do the best I can. I make word mistakes, but then I just correct the word because sometimes it's just a mispronunciation and I go back and say, okay, that's what I meant to say. I said it wrong, but the meaning is right. Like for instance, God is Jesus. God would have preferred me to say Jesus Christ is God alone with God Jehovah. And God, the holiness of who they all are, the Holy Spirit. They are one God alone, yet three separate in the presence of who they all are as one God alone infinitely. No one can say that I'm right and no one can say that I'm wrong. Only God, Jesus himself, can say that I am wrong or that I am right. Now you see, God, Jesus wanted me to say one thing about him alone. And that is this. He is simply living God deity alone. Will we all make mistakes? Yes. Will they be on purpose? No. Will they still have the fulfilling meaning about who he is as living God, deity alone, Jesus, with God, the holiness of who they all are, the Holy Spirit, and God, Jehovah? If no one can understand exactly what I'm trying to say, I want you to know this. Everything I just said is the most important of all sermons I will ever do from this moment forward and from this moment past. You have to believe and know that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, who was God himself in the flesh. But he was mainly God here on this world because he could say it, do it, practice it. No, he was God, simply God alone. He knew what to do. He could do it. He had to do it for me and for all of you. Everyone on this world from this moment past and all, this, and all the people from this moment forward until the return of God Jesus 
And that right there is called sin. He had to come here to be here on this world with us so that we could behave in the presence of who he is as living God deity alone. The exampleship about who he is as living God deity alone, Jesus, is simply knowing that he lives here with us in spirit, in our mind, and in our heart, but not on this world necessarily the way he was so long ago, over 2,000 years ago. I'm not here to say anything but what God Jesus wants me to say in the righteous effect and value about who he is as living God deity alone. I can get into the word of God more. I can read more scripture, but God says this to me now. Don't believe everything I'm saying by myself when I'm with someone, but at the same time do. So what does that mean for me? It means this. My faith is in doubt when I know without a doubt God Jesus is with me, telling me what the right thing is to say to, say to someone who is sitting in front of me says, I can't have a hold of my heart too much or too long to go in front of some inmate in a prison or jail situation and tell them Jesus Christ is God alone. Even though they may not request that or ask me to tell them more about God, I'm not allowed supposedly to ask them if they believe or know God as Jesus with God Jehovah. And do they understand that the Holy Spirit is also God with them as one God alone? Supposedly, in man-made laws in this country, America, and, and in specific states, probably all of them by the time I'm done with this sermon, they will all say this, every single person, no matter who you are, where you're from, what your faith is in, or what it is in, it has to be the righteous value about who they are as a person alone. There are many talents out there. There are many religions out there. There are many faiths out there. Now, which one are you? I can tell you right now. I've been telling you all along. Jesus Christ is the Son of God, who was God himself in the flesh. He died on the cross for the world's sins, and he was risen from the dead on the third day. Yes, indeed, he did it all by himself with God Jehovah and the holiness of who they all are, the Holy Spirit. They are one in the absolute promise and recognition and knowingness about who they are as pure living God, deity alone. Jesus, God Jehovah, and the holiness of who they all are, the Holy Spirit. As one God alone, yet three, in the presence of separateness about who they all are as living God, deity alone, Jesus, God Jehovah, and God the holiness of who they all are, the Holy Spirit. Don't recognize me. Recognize who Jesus Christ is as God alone. That's the main message here. You have to dwell in your life, in your heart, and in your mind, and not be conformed to this world, but be transformed in your heart and your mind and your thinking. Once you accept Jesus Christ as living God, Savior, Redeemer, and Creator alone, He will tell you this, I promise you, I will be with you here until the end of time. So that means this, get busy in your heart, read the Bible daily, preferably start in the New Testament. Understand who Jesus Christ is as living God, Savior, and Redeemer, God alone, Himself, in the flesh, God in spirit. You have to know and realize and recognize who he is as living God deity alone before you are allowed in the presence of who he is as living God deity alone in heaven forever. And the eternal life in my heart and my mind and thinking is simply this. If I'm teaching one thing, that's what I'm teaching. If I'm not teaching the whole Bible, the whole Testament of the old or the new, I'm here teaching who Jesus Christ is as God with God Jehovah and the holiness of who they all are, the Holy Spirit. You have to get busy. Make that transformation, not the confirmation, and going back to doing the ill will that might have placed you in a very bad position, perhaps in jail or prison for life, forever maybe. If you doubt God for good, forever in your heart, he will leave you. If not, praise God and pray right now and accept Jesus Christ as your God and Savior. Whether or not you are in jail, but maybe a bad situation, through drugs, alcohol, coming back out of that, out of jail, out of prison, you have been blessed to know Jesus Christ is God, living God deity alone in your life because he chooses. I don't. You don't. We don't know him. We don't choose him. We know who he is as living God. It says this in the Bible. He is God alone. For God has given to each man the, me the measure of faith. So we know who he is as God alone, but that doesn't mean we know who he is when he is with us, to recognize him, to confess him as living God, 
Savior and Redeemer and Creator alone. He is the living truth, the water, the light, and the only way to heaven forever. I'm not kidding you when I say sometime in the future I will be here saying something and someone will say this. I don't know if I believe everything she says, but I know that Jesus Christ is God alone, alone with me too. Good for you. That's all you need to know, but go further than that. Go into the Word of God. Ask God Jesus to teach you more about His teachings in the Word of God. Take His Word with you in value. Preach and teach the Word of God in the Bible alone. Don't make it up as you go. If you're not sure how to teach a scripture, then don't teach it at all. Pray and ask God for direction, a path into His Word, the Word of God, to help you to know for sure without a doubt through the holiness of who they all are, the Holy Spirit, who is God with us all now, right now, up until the end of time of God Jesus being with us through the holiness of who they all are, the Holy Spirit, to be as our God alone here on this world. Know that he will teach us. He will confess everything into our heart for us to know that we can confess. We will confess him and know him and believe in him as the only true living God deity alone. And his name is Jesus and God Jehovah and the holiness of who they all are, the Holy Spirit. Now, you get busy. Believe in God. Believe in God, Jesus. And believe in God, the holiness of who they all are, the Holy Spirit. Yes, I say that a lot. In my time here on this world, when I am praying, I pray and ask everything in Jesus Christ, God's name alone. I've heard many prayers from this moment past, and I hear them still say, in your name, in Jesus' name, or your Lord's name. I want to hear my children saying in Jesus Christ, God's name alone. That's what God told me. So now I say that. I taught my great nephews and my grandson right now is learning. When he is bigger, I will teach him how to pray and ask everything in Jesus Christ, God's name alone. If you're not sure about anything I'm saying, you have to know that the book, the word of God is in life, in my life. It's in everyone's life, but people ignore it. Don't ignore the Word of God anymore. Get the understanding. There are some religions out there who say that they practice and teach the Word of God and that I'm wrong right now saying they're not saved. Well, if you deny Jesus Christ as God with God Jehovah and the holiness of who they all are, the Holy Spirit, you are marked as a redeeming redeemer that just simply redeems you. That's it. And the people around you, no one is saved unless you confess Jesus Christ as God alone. It says so in the Bible. You must confess him as Lord, God, Savior, and Redeemer alone. Plus, throughout the whole New Testament especially, it says Jesus Christ is God. He says that if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Me and my Father are one. I and my Father are one. He is in me and I am in him. Listen to what I'm saying. Read the word of God. Pray and ask God, Jesus, for all understanding. Pray for his safety and salvation in him alone as living God, Jesus alone, in your heart, in your mind, and in your thinking. Don't go around twisted, twisted and twisting around to see if someone's back there behind you to make something different and better for you. No. Stay looking forward. Stay in your heart. Stay in the word of God and look to God's word alone. I'm not saying this again. But only one more time God wants me to say this for him alone because he is great, living, giving God alone. Jesus Christ is and was God himself in the flesh. He did die on the cross for the world's sins and he was risen from the dead on the third day. And yes, I know all of these things and so do you. So you had better be believing because God has given to each man the measure of faith. The measure of faith of what? The measure of faith to help you to already know Jesus Christ is God, creator, salvation, and savior of all. He is our God alone. But first, he's God alone. And then he is our God alone. Our God alone. And there is no other God. So remember, I've told you here, I've told many before me one-on-one, -on -one, and I will keep doing this. If you praise God and pray and follow him as God Jesus daily, he will keep you safe through this whole world currency that's going on right now. And it's not good. It's getting bad. Worse and worse each and every day. Listen to people around you. Watch the news. Watch what's, watch what's going on. Say to someone you don't even know, Jesus Christ is God alone and I love him. Don't you? I guarantee you most of the time they will look at you and say nothing or they'll say, I don't know or I don't believe in God. I know. I've been there. I'm still here. I'm in the real world, people, just like you are. Get busy. Be prepared. For his return will be swift 
And after he is gone from this world forever and ever, no one will be able to reach out to him ever again for prayer, forgiveness, and holy value about who he is as living God, deity alone, Jesus, our God, our Savior, our Redeemer, the one who said, for I so much love the world, I will give my own life. And God, Jehovah said that too. For I so love the world, I gave my only begotten son. Imagine that. He loved us all so much. He loved me so much. He loved you so much. He gave his life to shed his blood on that cross just for you, just for all who say, thank you, God, Jesus. Be in my life more, and I pray all of these things will happen for you from now on. I pray and ask all of these things in Jesus Christ, God's name alone. Amen. God bless.